Hello guys and welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson two, I'm going to show you something that will make your um, development faster and easier, which is not directly related to design, but will help uh, you significantly. So you realize that uh, to navigate to a particular page, we've created a, an open page function and uh, we are passing in the page and then we are using the nav controller to push to that page. Well, there is much a much easier way to do this. You do it by just using the nav push attribute. Uh, so that's it, nav push attribute, and then you just pass in the name of the page so buttons page and that is it there is no need to write in a function to navigate to that page so let's replace it this this one and this one as well change this to spacing page and this one to to uh, text page and yep by clicking on them, it should be easier to navigate to those pages. So let's get rid of this function. So you see with this, our code has reduced significantly. Um, I want to add something else. Let's say you want to pass uh, some parameters that you normally uh, do mm, by uh doing something like this let's say title and then add a title here something like this and then it uh, goes to the page and you can use the params uh, nav params to get it and use it well it can also be done here so if you want to pass some uh Parameters you can just use the nav params and then pass in a, an object. So let's say we want to pass a title, and the title is going to be uh, let's say buttons page. So when we go inside the buttons, uh, the buttons page, we let's change this to use title, and then inside the buttons we declare title, which is a string, and initialize it with an empty string. And then inside a constructor is dot tight so we can use the uh, the nav params and get the title that we passed and then set it and uh, it should display <coughs> Here by just passing uh, it to the nav params attribute here. So let's see this uh, magic in action. All right. Uh, okay, that's it. Right, so let's, and you see it goes and we have the buttons page param set title that we set. So you see the text, it navigated the spacing, it went. So you see by just using the nav push, nav push, and passing the pages names, uh, it's, it's easier. And please make sure that you are doing lazy loading in order for this to uh, work. 
um, then we can pass uh, parameters and that's what we did here you can do the same for others so that is it uh, so this has actually reduced uh, much of the code that uh, we will write